Hey everybody, it's Mark, Awkward Fist Bump Productions, 60 Days In, Season 5, Episode 3 Reaction Video, here we go, boom, alright, here we go, here we go, and boom, and maybe you should start, here we go, boom. I think a lot of people underestimate me and think that I might be snobby, but I have the attitude that I can do anything. So I think I'm ready. She's awesome. Five of our seven participants are already in our facility. The final two, Vivian and Mark, they're gonna be taking a look at gel operations. Just in- Hold on, I wanna tell you all something. You like Awkward Fist Bump Productions? We might be having Sheriff Lamb on as a guest. Here we go. Overall look at how our facility is being run. Let me introduce to you, King Awesome. Now I know what the Last Supper probably tasted like. In my defense, it was six o'clock in the morning. People make fun of me for eating, but what do you do before you go to jail and you know you're going to jail? And at six o'clock in the morning, most people eat breakfast. My name is Mark. I'm a former CEO and I'm a huge fan of 60 Days In. It really is kind of a dream come true. I mean, I've watched every season. I've watched every episode. Oh, that guy. Moron. Moron. I think being a... I love you, Matt. I love Matt. I really do. Anyway. A big fan of the show can only help me on the inside. I've been able to see, hey, who's had the keys and the attributes to be successful, whereas the people that have failed, what have they done? I spent 13 years in the Army, and then I decided to go into the intel community to become what they call a human intelligence specialist. When I first got out of the military, I worked a little shy of a year as a corrections officer. You know, you, you got to worry about, you know, hey, am I going to get jumped today? So where are you going, Dad? For two months. Uh, I gotta go somewhere. It's gonna be kind of an adventure. I know where you're going. I want to do this show because having been a former correction officer, there's nothing that works than a crooked CEO. I gotta go. Okay, you're gonna be alright, right? Can I get a knuckle knuckle? If you have an officer, that's my little buddy. That being said, there is still nothing worse than a cor uh, crooked correction officer. And to look the other way. Then when stuff goes down and someone gets jumped, Love you, are you gonna be there to stop the fight? My mission is to gather intelligence for the sheriff. I'm a man of my word and that's what I plan on doing. Hey guys. Hey Mark, how you doing? A little nervous, but I think it's the anticipation. Okay. You're not hungry, are you? No. Okay, beautiful. Because hunger makes cowards of us all. Ooh, you definitely don't belong here. I love Chief Hedrick. I do. That's awesome. But was he just a fat guy calling a fat guy fat? Food for thought. Still love Chief Hedrick. He's a good dude. Here. Oh man. <laughs> Are you a sex offender? Uh, no, not at all. No child porn? Nah, no child porn. I don't mess with that jack. Uh, if you need help, we have an emergency signal. Grab your shoulder while saying, my shoulder's killing me. So that we can come in and see if there's anything you need from us. All right, Let's step over here. Okay. Put your hands on the hood. Okay. Hands behind your back. 
up until this point, it's been cameras in action, but at the end of the day, I am no longer on a TV show. I'm an inmate. Very All true. Right, he's on. super fan I got to see how the previous participants acted in intake and I thought it looked very very easy but the moment that we got to the front door it was like oh my goodness what in the heck did I just sign myself up for because now I'm terrified everything goes in the plastic bag walking in there and, you know, I don't know what to do. To the right, stay on the left hand side. Jarvis, lead over. All the way down. Right, right on. I know we have secret symbols and stuff to get help, but it doesn't take long to get stabbed either. Sleep. And one of the younger inmates, he was talking to Billy. And primarily, they were discussing illicit substances. I shoot up through my neck. I don't like needles. Number one, number two. I don't really. I don't do the other. And this was this was the moment of truth. This was the moment that I knew would come. I didn't know if it would be within the. So, this is Steve. Perhaps the greatest person to ever do the show, at least in his mind. first hour or the first day the first week or whatever but that was where the rubber met the road that's what's gonna, if they hit it with the light, that's what's gonna save it, bro. Is that smell. They're gonna be like, oh, that's a camel. Billy kind of broke it down. How they take a love letter that they soak in a liquid form of whatever drug is, is for sale. Once dried, they douse each letter with a shot of perfume. When mail comes into the facility, apparently there's a fluoroscope of some sort under which inmate mail is inspected. You know, they smell perfume, they see a spray, and they fold it up and deliver it to the inmate. That's pretty tired, oh, man. Hey, huh? I'm gonna be on. <laughs> It was amazing. It was, you know, it was, it was brilliant and terrifying and huge. Because if it's in Pinal County, then it's got to be in every county, state, and federal facility in the country potentially. Steve easily figured out probably the most known way of getting drugs into a facility. Good job, Steve. Here I come. Boom. Mark's kind of like a deer in headlights. I saw him and I didn't move. I chilled. I was more so like, Oh, finally, you know, because I've been in here. When the f was somebody else gonna come in? All right, looks like it's pick up on them. Yep, I'm gonna check it down, that two match on over there. I'm gonna go over here, whatever. Cool. Hey, Josh. Josh, I'm working. Yeah, you ever been here for him? Yeah, good old boy. Never did nothing in his life, man. You know what I mean? He ain't never been around this many criminals since never. You mind if I check your paperwork real quick? Oh, see you later. Schemes? Yeah, I got a $50,000 one. 
I am on now or um no it's kind of this up right now. I don't play everybody now. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm I'm freaked out. So when the show came out, I looked at a lot of Twitter comments because people like to live tweet 60 days in and people thought I was a punk for presenting my papers to Josh. Let me explain something. Everybody in that pod, I can't say the whole jail because I was only in that pod, presented their papers. They wanted to screen you. They wanted to make sure you weren't in there for some messed up stuff. So if you were a chomo, if you beat your wife, anything like that, then they were going to roll you out. So just because they looked at my papers does not mean that I was weak and gave it to them. It was something that occurred every day. It's like if I do talk to someone, can I trust them? Um, anything you need, you can come to me on my next floor, you can come to this gentleman right here. You know, this whole thing, man, it's stressful. But I guess uh, the guys are accepting me, so I'm doing pretty good. All right, I appreciate you. Hey, Quaid! Hey, look out the window for me! I'm gonna f*** with this new white tie. Huh? I'm gonna f*** with this new white tie. I'm fried. Hey, I recognize you. You Please? stole my pig. You stole your pig? You stole my pig and my bike. Yeah, I seen, I remember, I remember clearly. So at that moment, I did not know where Rocker was going with that. And I really didn't. It's like, is this guy messing with me? Or is he being for real? Because I didn't know if he was crazy. Turns out he was messing with me. <laughs> I didn't know where you were going. I really do feel like he would have my back. There you go. See, that's, that's why you got new men. This is Brandon. <laughs> Brandon, besides being on G, which is uh, meth, Rocker would pick with him. You know, with him and they with each other. Pick his face because he thought it was bugs in his face. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, you know, Rocker, he's very emotional. He jumps into his emotions and then he just acts, he just does. And that's how the silly minor in turns creates chaos. When they were in the room together, Brandon would tell Rocker, I want to fight you. I'm going to beat this dude up real quick, man. Two things. You never say I want to fight you because prison rules say, if I tell you that, guess what we're going to do. So if you don't want to fight someone, don't joke with fight. And then he called him a bitch. You say that in jail, you're going to fight period. So just word for the wise, don't ever do those things if you ever go to jail. See? In here, if you say those things, rule states that it has to go down because Rocker had to fight him at that point. To that level. Yeah, bro, I'm going home, bro. Bro, I'm going home, bro. But just because it is a rule doesn't make it right. I don't want to be my bad. It's not good. If I learned one thing from watching the show, I would say this, don't get involved with fights. That's how you survive. I, I, don't, I don't want to, but I'm going to. You got to. Oh, y'all man. 
I know that I'm supposed to back the rocker, but at the same time, as a police officer, I feel like the right is right, wrong is wrong. I can't get involved. And be part of that, God. Even if it hurts my relationship with Rocker and I have trouble completing my mission. I said the cat. I like yo, it's not worth it. I never witnessed a fight in there, even though it shows me looking at it. But really, Rocker? Like, you fight like a girl, dude. I mean, did you see that? If you didn't see it, rewind this video and watch him fight again. For the sake of my mission, I'm gonna tell you. I need to maintain my relationship with Rocker. Hell yeah, man. The white boy. No, 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 you need to listen to something. That popped up and called me out. I done backed out for nobody. I will say this, though. It's up, but it's just rules of the land. It ain't easy. I'm not backing down. I don't even really know what's going on. Okay, I'm not even playing with. I'll tell you what else ain't easy. Pimping. Pimping ain't easy. You don't like the way I run? Eat Tweedledum chuckle nuts. <laughs> this is my, Steve. my backup. I was just he puts every other participant to shame. Pissed at that point. By the way, he's still down. Before you get disgusted and say, is he laughing that he's dead? No, Steve recently faked his own death. If you'll go back to the first reaction video, I explain it. So this guy right here, apparently decided to, whoa, apparently decided to fake his own death to escape from what I hear some legal prosecution because he's like going 60 days for real for real so anyway that's why I make fun of that uh, if he was really dead you know I wouldn't talk but uh, I feel bad for him I guess right now but when he comes back alive I guess I won't feel bad for him I don't know how that's supposed to work tell me in the comments <laughs> They bring me a handwritten note that says, call me. Now I have 60 killers looking at me going, what the hell just happened? 
This is jail. They don't bring you notes. By the way, I do want to make a comment. 60 killers really in county jail because they've got us in maximum security. Come on, Steve. Really? 60 killers? Not at all. Not at all. Calls are subject to recording and may be monitored. You may start your conversation now. Hello? Hey, Steve. Hey, Steve. Yeah, hey, I'm here. How you doing? What's going on? Call me. I have about 10 minutes before I blow this up and shut this whole party down. All right, the whole signal thing, you know. <laughs> we'll be right in, we'll take care of it. So, um, we saw you get the signal. That's why we sent in. The guys at the theater checked in that everything was okay and got the impression that things were okay in there based on your reaction. No, no, I'm talking. I'm giving this about 10 minutes before I stand up in the middle of this table in the middle of this room and let the whole show know what's going on. I know where the dope's coming from. I know everything. All right? It's about to get ugly as a right here. I'll see you shortly. So here's my question. What's going to happen? I guess we'll see. Tune in for my next reaction video. If you like what you're watching, fist bump the subscribe button, comment in the comments, share the video, hit the notification button. Love you guys. Talk to you later.